Ready, go. Ready, go. Yeah, the pole ends up there. Yeah. So always do the pole goes right. And um, so you see, uh, when you start, you have this quick I know, motion. Yeah, I know. That's yeah. okay. But now, the finished position here. I slipped on that one. Mm. So now, uh, so uh, as we saw in the analysis, the main thing is how to uh, reorient the swing plane mm -hmm. more toward the target. Yeah. Currently, you have a severely outward swing plane. Mm -hmm. And then we have to start from the hand motion here. So imagine this. So the, the target is the, where the T is on the wall, right? Yeah. And then when you move your hands, Particularly pay attention to the le left, uh, left arm here, but um, if you move the hand, oh, stay on this side here. Yeah. If you move your hand along the target here, right here, and if you keep moving the hand, then it will go about here. So by the time your, your arm arrives in a horizontal position, it's slightly, either it's uh, pointing you know, opposite to the target or slightly inward. But if your hands are going more inward this way, that means that your hand path is quite uh, inward during the back swing. Yeah. So from here, if you just swing your arms back and forth here, and then let it go, then it'll be here, right? If you do something intentionally, try to pull it back, then hands, left hand ends up here. So feel, the easy motion of the hands here, particularly here when you try to move the hands along the straight line toward the target, if your goal is to move your hands here, continue this motion, then you will end up here. So try this and then see where your hands go. So sort of have this a straight line okay, toward the target, mm -hmm. try to move the hands along that line. Yeah, you see, it's severely in, inward here. Inside. Again. So if your goal is to move the hands along this line here, mm -hmm. if you keep moving, then you will end up somewhere here. Okay? Okay. This is quite uh, outward compared to what you do. Okay. So here, again, swing back and forth. And let it go, and it will be here, right? Yeah. Instead of when you kick the ground and then move your body and then try to bring this back here, mm -hmm. it's a severely inward here. Yeah. So this is the main issue. You have to bring the, your lead up more like this. Okay. If you can do this in the back swing, then you will be able to easily adjust to the direction of the downswing. So always uh, you know, what happens is the back swing. Back swing causes all the trouble. Okay. So again. So to stop doing this, hmm. how do you want me to start? Because I do kind of talk. Way so forward. that what should be done is actually you have a shift and then just let it go. Oh, so just the shift mm -hmm. and then shifting right and then push and you will turn, yeah. but bring the arms here. Oh, okay, okay. 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 Yeah. So when you have a natural motion like this, yeah. then here let it go and then bring it here. Okay. So again, you have swing motion like this here here and then bring it here. Okay. So your hands will go actually higher than you think. Okay. Like that. If you can move the hands like that by feeling the flow of motion. Okay. okay. Yeah. If you feel this motion, then it's relatively easy. Mm -hmm. Go here. But if you just to go here, try to bring it back. Yeah. And then when this happens, you also tend to move your pelvis. Uh, the, the hip backward, okay. that's why you have a flat turn. Okay. Yeah. So always guide it with your hand motion. Yeah. So now, let's use the kettlebell here. 
with the palms forward. And then if you anchor your elbow here, then you will generally go like this. Okay. So relax here, keep it straight, relax. And then your goal is to move the kettlebell along this straight line. Again, so moving back and forth here. And then if you let it go up, then you will go here, right? Yeah. So using the lower body, try to move the kettlebell like this. Yeah. Instead of pulling it inward. Swing. And then bring it a bit higher, bring it a bit higher. So let's go to uh, shoulder height, shoulder height. Okay. Go up here, let it go here. Up and then let it go. Up and then let it go. Swing that way. So guide the left hand properly using the motion. Ah, you're going backward. So here your arms are pointing this way, but then on this side, your arms are pointing this way here. Okay. Again, it's a stretch here. Okay. So you have to have put intentional effort to put the yeah. kelvin ball going this way here. And then here you can go inward a bit more intentionally. Okay. So less inward there, yeah. more inward here. Then with that, you have to feel how your hands should, oh, oh this way, this way, this way, this way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now it's uh, fairly symmetric. <laughs> this, is, this is the way you need to move your hands. You have to remember this hand, hand motion, okay? So again, if you emphasize the motion here, initially small motion here, but then increase the magnitude, let it go, let it go. Yes, 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 yeah. So if you can do this in your swing, mm -hmm. then you can easily change the swing plane. Okay. But subconsciously, if you go this way here, yeah. then you will go that way. Particularly, this is combined with the, this motion here. The stuck elbow and then your pelvis slides quite a bit, then you will have severe outward plane. Okay. And the, when you do this motion, bring the hands that way, yeah. bring this way, you will not be able to slide this a lot. Yeah. When you slide, it's hard to bring this way here, right? Yeah. Again, so using the motion, momentum, try to guide your hand motion. Uh huh. Yes. Yes. That's perfect. Then now you will have a more symmetric motion back and forth. Symmetric motion back and forth. Yeah, keep swinging. I will record this. Keep swinging, swing. Using the body, swing. Swing. Swing, have a rhythmic motion. Slide up and down motion. Swing. 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 Yep. Swing. Using the body, swing, 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 have a rhythmic motion, slide up and down motion, swing, swing, swing. Look at this. <laughs> Fairly symmetric, mm -hmm. and then we don't see excessive sliding of the pelvis here. Okay. Yeah. The same thing, I will record it from here. So initially guide it with a small motion and then let it go up, up, up. Swing, 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 swing. Okay. Swing, 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 swing. Swing, swing. Okay, yeah. So remember that that arm motion here. Yeah. Now emphasizing more this motion here, right? Okay. Yeah. When you start moving this way, as you, we saw here, you cannot really slide the pelvis a lot. Because when you start moving it this way, no reason to drop it here. Yeah. 
Yeah. There's no reason to slide the pelvis. But if I'm coming, if I'm doing this right, and then I'm coming towards the left, mm. one of the shoulders I close. If you uh, intentionally okay. try to do this. If I do intentionally, okay. So at impact, uh, your shoulder will be slightly open. Uh -huh. At impact here, it's a slightly open. Yeah. This is natural. Okay. Let, let it go here. Yeah. Okay. okay. So um, uh, now let's move, move, move on to uh, the short uh, orange rib here. Again, this is, this is a bit heavier than a club, so this is uh, good. Now hold it here, do the same thing, swing, 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 go up, swing, go up, swing, go up, swing, go up, swing, and then make sure you are moving your arm like this. Here, instead of, yeah, the same idea. <laughs> now, what you do is uh, your hand is going in yeah. and then lift the up and coming down. Okay. No, remember, just a simple motion back and forth. Okay? Uh, hold it a bit shorter, yeah. So here, then remember, just the moving it, simple motion, yeah. like this, and then let it go here, bring it down, let it go, bring it down, let it go, bring it down. And then in this one, feel the motion of the clip, uh, the, feel the motion of the end of the whip. It'll be easier. Yeah, 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 I, I can see what's happening. So yeah. when your hands are traveling like this, if you just keep your head here, then it goes really steep here. What has to happen is because the, the head is there, yeah. it's following flatter plane here while your hands are going up here. Mm -hmm. You have to move like this. So as if uh, you are lifting a tray or something. Here, here, here. While your hands are going up here, you have to let the clever go flatter. Okay. Yeah. The, the hand motion plane yeah. is about 10 degrees steeper than the swing plane. So your club may move along this plane here, but your hands are actually moving along a steeper plane here. So you must have this wrist motion going like this. Use, use the wrist, use the wrist. Here's the, how you move your wrist here. From here, mm -hmm. this motion is uh, coming from the forearm. It's a forearm pronation and supination here. This end, you have this motion here. Yeah. So using this, use your wrist. Okay. So that while your hands are moving st along a steeper plane, your club head can go in here. Here, here, here. You have to use the particularly, you have to use the pronation, supination of the forearm to nicely guide the club head while your hands are moving slightly uh, along the steeper plane here. You have to use the wrist motion here. Otherwise, it'll be uh, over the top here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. That when you use a wrist like that, then your hands will be uh, easier to move. Mm -hmm. And then emphasize swinging more this way, or this way here. Yep. Mm -hmm. So you have to adjust the back swing hand motion so that you can easily swing this way, all the way down.
Swing harder, not bigger. Bigger motion. Yeah. Use that wrist motion and then swing, swing. So yeah. Now when you do this, you get rid of the excessive slide because you don't need this motion. Okay. What you are doing is uh, using the wrist and then move the hands uh, along a steeper plane, but by using the wrist motion, you are moving the clavier flatter here. Mm -hmm. When you do this motion here, no need to do this. So use the wrist, particularly pronation, supination of the forearm, so that your hands are moving along steeper plane, but your club head is moving along a flat plane. So about 10 degree uh, slope difference. Yep. And as you do, feel the motion of the end of the whip. The whole goal is moving the end of the whip nicely without excessive body motion, yes. Yes. Yeah, you're getting better now. Mm -hmm. Swing back and forth. Swing back and forth. Swing. 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 Yeah. Swing. Swing, 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 swing. So that way, instead of excessive body motion, mm -hmm. you first learn how to move the hand and use the wrist so that you have a nice clever motion here. Like this. right elbow is coming in front of your back here. Okay. Right? So it doesn't mm -hmm. go back here and then, you know, get yeah. stuck here. Yeah. Now, let me watch from this direction. The same thing. Nice and easy motion back and forth. Yes. Mm -hmm. Try to have uh, almost a symmetric uh, motion, back and forth, swing, swing. And the feel the overall flow of motion, feel the rhythm, overall flow, swing, 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 yeah, swing. And the feel the overall flow of motion, feel the rhythm. Overall flow, swing, swing, swing. And in doing this, if you feel, really feel the motion of the end of the whip so without forcing it, mm -hmm. it'll be even easier. So when you reasonably relax your wrist, and then let the whip go. Let the whip go nicely here, mm -hmm. and then moving the hands, uh, you know, along a steeper plane here. Particularly when you feel the uh, weight of the whip, particularly the end, uh, motion of the end of the whip, then the motion becomes a lot smoother. Okay. Now let's use a bit longer one. The same idea. Again, particularly in this one, because it's longer, and uh, you have to feel the motion of the, the end of the whip. So again, nicely. So if your body goes too early here, yeah. then the body motion and the whip motion are not working together. Mm -hmm. So feel the motion of the whip, and then you move the body to promote this whip motion here, okay. instead of okay. just that your body wants to do something, you know. So everything is to promote a good uh, whip motion. 
Yeah, you have to move, move the body in such a way that you're promoting good, uh, no, no, this uh, jerky motion. Just the time everything. Okay. Let it go, let it go, let it go. So your body is supposed to uh, you know, help the uh, motion of the whip. Uh -uh. So and on, on the way down, you're using your arms too much. Wait until this motion is completed here. Wait here. And then again, start using. And then more than anything, the end of the whip should have a continuous and smooth motion instead of intentionally try to do something with the arm. Let it go all the way. Let, let it mature. And then come back. Come back. So if you're holding it here, then you are not really forcing the whip. Still, the whip motion will be nice and smooth here. Do not fight and then let it go all the way. Wait until the turn is completed and then start the, the turn in the opposite direction. Yeah, you always here, you go up here, always this motion first. Okay. However, just to go and stay here. And then just to start one motion instead of. Again, the hand motion, pay attention to uh, how your lead arm is moving. Use the wrist more, use the wrist more, particularly this way. Yeah. The plane, uh, the plane is outward. You are going inward too much. If this is the direction here, you want to move it here. Yeah. Okay. The hands are going up to this position here. Yeah. And then on the way down, your hands are here. Try to let it go. And it has to come this way here. So the hands should be close to your, relatively close to your body. And then you have to have this position. Okay. And going up, and then bring it back. If you go flat here, you almost always try to do this. You're going this way. So here, and keep the hands a bit as high as possible, while maintaining good continuous whip motion. Your hand, your hands, has hands has to travel a bit higher in the back swing. But by using the pronation supination here. Let the, the whip continuously move nicely. Because, because here you go flat and then hit it, uh, come down here, that's why you are hitting the ground. Let's go more like this. Okay. Into this position here. Then you are as if you're holding a tray. Mm -hmm. Okay from this position. And then when it comes down, and then now it's, it's, it will clear the body. Go this way. So try to, try to keep the hand, move the hands more this way here, mm -hmm. so that your elbow does not interfere with the, the overall swing. Yeah, so lift your, your hands up higher during the back swing intentionally. To the level you feel a little bit uncomfortable. And then there, what happened was your, your hands actually went out and then just tried to flip this. But the impact position, go to the impact position, see uh, what kind of impact position you want to have. At impact, if you are in this position here, mm -hmm. this is already too much out here. Then when you try to bring this here, it will go outward. So impact position should be this way, mm -hmm, okay. now here. And then it will go here. So you have to change the, the image of your impact position. So here, go up, go up, go up. What's happening is uh, from here, you are dropping hands down like this. Instead, 
move the hands like this. So from here, just, just to move the hands back and forth without any obstruction here. Mm -hmm. Instead of go here and then coming down here, just to go here and then maintain that hand motion. Again, just the hands only. Try to feel what we did earlier. Swing back and forth. Move the hands high up during the back swing. The, pay attention to the lead arm motion. It has to come more this way, more this way. Again. Yeah, so go up. And these are here. Mm -hmm. If you come this way, you will never have a stuck elbow problem, right? Mm -hmm. From here, if you come down this way. But if you go in and then bring it low, and then try to come, you see, you have to slide your pelvis. That's the source of problem. So again, here. During the back swing, try to have your hands more up this way. So from there, just to come down here, come down toward the impact position. Instead of come down first and then try to go out here. Okay? From here, directly come down to the impact position here. Your elbow will just clear the body nicely. But if you're in your image, you want to drop first this here and then try to come out. Always you go outward quite a bit. So from here, okay. If you move, uh, you swing just back and forth, you will see that your arm is completely clearing the body. Okay. You need to have this motion here instead of. Okay. So you are, in, you are urging mm -hmm. to drop the right elbow down yeah. versus from here, just to go to the impact position, straight impact position, instead of a drop and then coming out here. Yeah, okay. So, Make a slow motion, but try to uh, draw a good line there. Yes. Like that. Yes. Mm -hmm. let, let the whip go uh, all the way, yeah. So doing the back swing, instead of stopping in the middle, let it go all the way. Ah, you went uh, flat. So you can still, while maintaining a, a bit a steeper plane here, but you can let it go all the way here. This is okay. And then on the way down, your goal is just to bring the hands to the impact position straight, not down and out, just uh, directly. Gradually, like this, then your right elbow will naturally clear the body. Hmm. Yeah, it's a one motion, one motion, right? Then just uh, go from there to impact the position in one motion. Then your right elbow will clear your body. Yes. Without, you don't need to uh, shift the body a lot. And remember, because you, ha you used to have a flat backswing here, so you, on the way down, you, it was flat yeah. going out. Now, if you adjust it, then you, the, the, the head tends to hit the ground. That's okay. okay. When you use the wrist, more actively, mm -hmm. you will be able to uh, get away from that. So use the wrist more actively. Here, as the hands are moving from here to impact the position, you are using your wrist more actively, like this. This way you will be able to control the motion of the whip. So here, like this, while my elbow is not interfering with any, it's not causing any problem here, right? And then I'm using my wrist quite a bit.
by using the pronation supination motion. So the hand motion should be simple. It will just come down to the impact position. Yeah. And use the wrist more nicely there. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So during the back swing, let the whip go all the way and then swing. 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 Yeah. Now, in doing that, on the way down, mm -hmm. try to throw the whip where I am. I will stand on the left side of the target at the, this door knob here. Try to, try to swing the whip toward me on the way down. Yes. Yes. Yes, now your hands mo hand motion is really good. Yes, no, no stuck elbow problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the truth is, still you can put your hand uh, against your right shoulder, mm -hmm. but if you don't turn too much during the back swing, yeah. just to go here, it's okay. Yeah. From here, it's coming down directly toward the impact position, mm -hmm. and using the wrist motion here, swing through. Go up here, swing through. So you don't have any uh, stuck elbow problem. No need to uh, shift the pelvis a lot. But, yeah. Go, go, go a bit more, go a bit more. Yeah, that's, that's good, that's good. From there, yeah. bring the hands directly to the impact position. Yep. And then let it go. Yep. Because you are used to a, a lot flatter plane, that's why it feels uh, strange. But if you use your wrist here, then you can bring the club down here and then let it go. Instead of just going this way here, yeah. it'll be stiff. But if you are, the club head is there, yeah. and going slightly going around your body using the wrist motion and come down, yeah. then you will have less awkward feel there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now use the lower body the, uh, more and then try to swing a bit harder. Yes, swing, 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 swing. Now I can see that you can change that habit Okay, this is good. This is the hand motion is really good. So I will record this and I'll show you what you what you are doing. Okay, go ahead. Swing. Swing. Do not fight and then let the whip go. Swing. 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 Yeah. Swing. Swing, do not fight, and then let the whip go. Swing, swing, swing. So now, <laughs> this is a very different movement. Look at this. So hands are just coming down this way here. Uh -huh. yeah. Can you do one from mm. that side as mm. well? I want to see yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. Look at this. So again, directly from here to impact the position without dropping and putting out, yeah. okay, then your right elbow will clear the, the body nicely. Okay, ready, go. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm.
So by the time this comes down to this position, mm -hmm. your elbow is uh, fairly extended here, yeah. so it will nicely clear here. Okay. So it doesn't go to uh, this position. And then when this happens, the only way you can go is that way. Okay. Yeah. So your goal is to bring the hands uh, directly to the impact position. So it's uh, obviously steeper than you, uh, your, your normal swing plane, right? Mm -hmm. Because uh, the way you're moving your uh, arms uh, and the el elbow yeah. are different. Okay. Now let's go to your club and see if you can do the same thing. This will require a lot of practice, a lot of uh, intentional practice. So again, swing back and forth. Now, now, so uh, stand, uh, where, where is your ball? Where do you aim? There? Yeah. Then try to uh, aim here, ball outward, okay? So instead of uh, imaging the ball here, the, mid, the ball is here. That means you have to bring the club head more out to this position. Uh -huh. So maintain the same motion coming down to impact the position. So your hands will go slightly more away from your body. I'm confused. Are you? So what I'm saying is uh, keep the hands a, a bit away from your body on the way down so that clever can go farther away. The same motion yeah. from here, yeah. from here, yeah. you're coming down to the impact position. Let it go out a bit more. Okay. I think uh, the, the ball to uh, your, your foot, that's a bit too close. So increase this distance a little bit. Oh, oh. So try to stay farther away from the ball. And then try to bring the club to that position. Again, using similar motion. Go up and then with a simple straight motion down to the impact position. Yeah. Again, so you are aiming here, so the ball is here, right? Yeah. And then on the way down, you have to bring, uh, deliver the club head here, going closer. Again, show me. I will watch uh, where, you, where your club head passes. <laughs> this is what happens. You are initially here. Yeah. It passed at this point. So on the way down here, instead of bringing too close to your body, let it go out. Okay, let it go out. So let the club go more away from your body on the way down. Yeah. Like that? No, 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 no. From the same posture here, you're coming down to impact position. Let it go here. Now you have a bit more distance here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Let it go all the way out here. Because uh, I think uh, your ball to uh, your foot position is too close. Mm -hmm. So you need to uh, let the club head go out more. Then you will be able to solve this problem completely. No, 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 no. No need to do this. So instead here, let me, let me show you this. Here. Your problem here is go up here because still you have a little bit of uh, keeping the, this close to the body. So now you're passing here okay. in the downswing. However, what I'm asking is go here and then let it go all the way out here. Oh, okay. Let it go. The hands are more out here and then let it pass here. Instead of pulling it in. Okay. So then you'll really be able to uh, you know, move your elbow away from your body. So reach out more.
on the way down. Ah. Still, because of this motion, you're not really letting the club head go back to this position. The club has passed here. Mm -hmm. Your initial aim was this, yeah. but actually in the downstream, your club head is passing here. So you have to bring back the club head here. So where, we, where you initially aimed. Yeah. So you have to bring the club head down there. Ah. No. No. Your club head was here, but on yeah. uh, the way down, you're passing here. Because you swing, still you're moving the body this way here. That's why it's uh, pulling. From here, just let it go. Okay, let it go out instead of try to bring it this way here. The, the bottom line is uh, the, the reason why you have a sort of a toe shot here and the ball going right mm -hmm. is because uh, you start from here, but actually the club is passing here okay. on the way down. So you have to make sure you bring bring it this way here. Or one way to do it is, uh, if here's a ball, yeah. that you can aim it with the heel of the club, yeah. then you'll probably come back here. So keep the gaze, keep the gaze on the ball and see where your club head is coming back. So the whole process is just to get rid of all the unnecessary movement. Because you have this motion here. Yeah. With this, you are actually bringing the club head toward your body. But from here, good wind up and let it go. Okay. What's important is the club head motion. Oh, let's do this. Let's touch the tip, tip of the T here when you swing. So you have to move forward, move forward. You aim there and then on the way down, you have to touch that tip, okay? Mm -hmm. That's good, that's good, that's good. So that's the, the target. Swing hard and then try to uh, keep the elbow away from your body. Mm -hmm. Okay, no obstruction here. And then bring the club head back to that T. Mm -hmm. Again. Okay. Okay. Ready. Go. So look at this. Hands are coming more this way here. Mm -hmm. Now let me record it from here and see. Okay, ready, go. <laughs> so, now if you look at your body posture here, not much sliding here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you can still have this rhythmic motion, okay? Yeah. But not so jerky. Yeah. Yeah. And then, so now let's uh, develop the rhythm. So okay. you can have, um, you can, let's use the trigger motion. Yeah. Mm, mm, let it go. And then the trigger should be a little bit flat here, going this way. Mm -hmm. And have a good body turn here. And then from there, bring it back. And then make sure during the back swing, your hands are reasonably going up here. And then from there, simple uh, motion toward the impact position. Okay. Yeah. 
Yes. So pay attention to the club head motion. Uh, touch, touch the tip, touch the tip. Yeah, always bring the club back to that position. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, you know what? <laughs> this time you pulled in. And um, also here, during the trigger motion, yeah. so go to the setup position, trigger motion. Yeah. Currently, you are going like this. Go to this position. Use the pronation here. Mm -hmm. And then bring it back. Mm -hmm. Okay. So use the, the pronation, supination both ways. So guide the clip it nicely. Mm -hmm. So pay attention to clever motion. Your goal is to move the clever head nicely and fast, right? No unnecessary body motion. Yeah. The, the backswing pad is a bit too high because you want to avoid the, the, where the ball is. But um, So start from here, yeah. go here. And then bring it back, it almost start touching the, this here. Yeah. And then go here, instead of your current backswing is going okay. about here. Yeah. So ball all the way, try to bring the club head close to the, where the ball is. So in other words, from here, if you just uh, turn the shoulders, then you'll be able to bring it there. So from here, instead of try to use your arm here, Go here, and then when you turn the shoulders, then you'll be able to bring it back. Remember, we did this motion here. Mm, 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 and then try to bring it up, right? But still the same motion, up, up, the same thing. So trigger, bring it back here, and then let it go. Everything is more uh, ball focused, right? Mm -hmm. Now, give me active. Uh, trigger motion, active backswing, fast backswing, mm -hmm. and then downswing. Your trademark is a fast backswing. So, uh, yeah, everything rhythmic and uh, fast. Yes, that's, uh, that gives good speed. Now all you need to do is to deliver it where the ball is. Yes. So your goal is let it go, no obstruction here. Yeah. Let it go and then hit the ball and then just turn around instead of moving the body early. Okay. This body motion does not really help the motion of the club head. So club head centric perspective. Good trigger. It was it slightly inward. So keep the gaze on the ball. Yes. So instead of in the downswing, instead of moving the body this way, let it go. So your goal is right there. Your target is right there. So hit the ball and then continue the motion. Uh, this time it was a bit inward and also down. So it hit the ground. slightly inward. So when that happens, you will have a toe shot. So this is something you need to work on uh, on the range. Uh -huh. When you actually hit the ball, if you have a tendency of slight toe shot, uh -huh. the ball going right, yeah. then you can go a bit closer to the ball. So uh, when you aim the ball, use the heel mm -hmm. to aim the ball, then you will come here okay. on the way down. So this is just something you have to adjust. But First, the goal is to bring it back where, where it was. Yeah. Now, I'll uh, watch from this direction. Yeah, get rid of all the unnatural movement, just to bring the hands high up and then deliver it to the impact position. Yeah. As simple as that. So, ready, go, stage three. Stage three.
Look at this. You just get, got rid of all these. <laughs> so you can do it. Now the question is when you practice alone, whether you will be able to repeat this and until you can do it without even thinking. Yeah. Right? So again, let me record it from here. So make it overall, make it rhythmic. Okay? Make it uh, rhythmic, continuous, ready, go. Oh, <laughs> look at this, the, the dancing play. Ah, oh, look at the dancing play here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So it's not going outward. Look at this. So all you need to worry about is just the turning about the main axis here. Go up here and then turn about the axis and then deliver the club and then let it go. Okay. Instead of? Mm -hmm. So make the motion really simple. Yes. So stage three will be from now on your pre-shot routine, okay? Mm -hmm. Before you hit the ball, always stage three and swing and make sure you are moving the club head along the plane you want. And then go to the ball and then swing. So stage three and your regular swing. First the stage three and then the regular swing. Mm -hmm. And then regular swing. Now pretend that there's a ball there. Remember that rhythm. Yes. <laughs> Look at this. Yeah, this is uh, actually tomorrow is my birthday, but t this today is your birthday. Okay, new birthday. <laughs> you are, yeah, you are reborn. Okay. So this is the idea. So you simplified your motion quite a bit. Okay, let me record this. <laughs> so stage three and the regular swing. Okay, ready, go. Mm -hmm. Oh, the flow is good. Then regular swing. Mm-hmm. Oh, that flow is good. Then regular swing. <laughs> I will I will take one more and then I'll show you. Whoa, this is good. Okay. Ready, go. Mm-hmm. Yeah, look at the flow. It's continuous motion. Mm -hmm. You see? And yeah. then swing plane, particularly here. The swing plane is <laughs> going that way. Good flow. You see, you don't have any unnecessary movement now. Mm -hmm. It's just a good flow. Mm -hmm. And then, so your club went about this much here. And then quickly try to bring it down in your original swing. Yeah. Yeah, it's no time up there. Yeah, no time up there. Now, look at that. Yeah. You, it goes a bit more. Mm -hmm. You have uh, more time at the end of the back swing. Look at this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then, it's 
after all, you can do it. Yeah. You see? Now let's hit the, hit the ball and see uh, whether you can do this uh, with the ball. So when you have a ball, then you have to step back slightly okay. when you do the stage three, you know, not to hit the ball, right? But then approach it to the ball and hit the ball. So stage three, your regular, uh, uh, your pre-shot routine. Ah, it's dropped. That means you turn the body and then it just was dropped. Again, stage three. Now, go to the ball. <laughs> Directly to me. You see? <laughs> Give me five. <laughs> this is the idea. This is the first time I saw you hitting the ball back to me. Always it was to the right. <laughs> Again, stage three. Mm hmm Yes, <laughs> look at the direction. It's uh, towards the target, straight. Mm -hmm. Now, this is truly uh, your <laughs> second birthday. You are reborn. Let me record from this direction. Okay, ready, go. Yep, again, straight back to where the ball was. Okay, <laughs> ready, go. Yeah, all three. All three is really straight. Yeah. Now you readjust the direction. Uh -huh. And your motion, you got rid of a lot of unnecessary movement. Okay. Now all you need to do is just a purposeful practice. For a while, use the stage three as your precise routine. Mm -hmm. Well, you can actually continuously use the uh, stage three as your precise routine. Yeah. Now you feel the motion of the clavier. So you see, your body motion is not necessary. Yeah. Still, you can have an active rhythm here. Mm -hmm. You are good in terms of starting the backswing actively. Mm -hmm. So maintain that. Yeah. And then, the, as you can see here, the motion, you got rid of a lot of unnecessary movement. Just the following the flow here. Mm -hmm. yeah. Ooh. And then this uh, regular swing is really active here. You're putting your body, you're using your body well. And then just the, the only thing is to have a bit more time up there. No okay. need to rush, okay? Mm -hmm. Look at the flow. Yeah. The swing plane is a lot better now here. Yeah. 
So this is it. This is it. Yeah. Um, what I'll do is I'll post the video. Okay. Watch the video yeah. again, again. You have to remember what we did today. Yeah. And all the uh, initial things that we did was basically to guide the hands properly. Okay. Okay? So yeah. instead of going here, yeah. first you have to guide it here. And also on the way down, instead of drop and then push it out, yeah. instead from here to impact position, directly go from here to impact the position yeah. so that your elbow is uh, fairly cleared. Yeah. And if you maintain reasonable distance here, that you don't have to go really steep here. Okay. And let it go. So all you need is a good push with the ground so that your body does not collapse. Okay? Okay. And then swing through. Then by using the stage three, you can develop good rhythm. Using that, just to hit the ball. Okay. Okay? Should I be using the same principles for irons as well? The irons you can have a bit smaller backswing, that's okay. okay. Yeah, because irons are not really going for the maximum distance. Yeah. And the, the main thing is the, the control. So do it for Maintain us. the same movement pattern. Do I still need like a trigger motion with the irons as well? <laughs> okay. okay. The, what happens is that when you get used to that rhythm with the driver, yeah. automatically you will use that pattern in your irons. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, you will see some positive things happening in your iron swing as well. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. The bottom line is when we have a severely outward uh, pattern, uh, the swing plane, mm -hmm. then you have to do something to compensate that, which is a lot of side spin. Yeah. And then the, you have a uh, more than usual uh, ball movement. Mm -hmm. If it's done right, then you'll be able to bring it uh, back to the fairway. But if it's a more square hit, then your ball will end, uh, end up at the, the second next. Okay. Yeah. And, and so on. So uh, we are just uh, improving the art here. Okay, so adjusting the plane, mm -hmm. and then generally your ball will be more straighter toward the target. And from there, you will be able to change your, your whole game here, okay? okay, around it. So, I don't know if this might happen maybe in the future, but what if somehow I get to the stage where the hands are maybe two in front? You, you will never have that okay. situation. Okay. Particularly when you use a stage three as the pressure routine, mm -hmm. because of this rhythm here, it's hard to go out. Okay. From here, you're pulling it in. Yeah. And then with this, it's hard to intentionally go out. Okay. So as long as you, you repeat the stage three all the time, yeah. then you'll be able to prevent that. Okay. Yeah. So okay. what you need to worry about is going flat too far. Okay. Yeah. So go up here and then more than anything, bring the hands toward the impact position, straight instead of mm, and the detouring here. Okay. Drop it here and then try to go this way. Yeah. But uh, as you saw, well, your swing pattern changed quite a bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I have a, I'm supposed to meet my family mm -hmm. um, soon. So uh, let's, let's, let's stop here. But uh, yeah, it, uh, I, wor I was a, a bit worried mm -hmm. because this habit is really hard to beat. Okay. But now you actually uh, changed it uh, completely. Yeah. So you'll be able to enjoy your game uh, at different level now. I know. <laughs>